good morning, happy Thursday. It's Thursday, March 12th. I didn't get a chance to check in yesterday, but I did want to give a quick update. I am working on my chapter by chapter outline for my thriller, now adult thriller. We got into that the other day and I feel really good about it. I talked to my mastermind group about it and we are all a go on making it an adult thriller. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, sorry, my hand was getting tired. So I must be the only person on the planet who didn't realize that there was a documentary about JK Rowling on YouTube. And yesterday somehow it jumped into my feed and I watched it and I thought it was so great. So I'm gonna date myself here and you're probably gonna wanna throw things at me, but straight up, I liked the Harry Potter series. It was a great series, but I was never on the hype train for any of these big popular books. I was so anti-hype train, so like, Twilight, Harry Potter, any of those books, I did not even come close to jumping in until all the books were out. The only one that I really jumped on for was Hunger Games and that was very very close to Mockingjay coming out. So I did end up going to like a midnight release party with Suzanne Collins for Mockingjay. But so the Harry Potter series, I when I did read it, I blew through all the books in a very short amount of time. They were great, so well written, but I'm not the person who's like, I'm a Hufflepuff. I know I'm a Hufflepuff because I took the sorting hat quiz, but I'm not like obsessed with every part of it. I don't use that in my day to day, and I know a lot of people do. So I went into this less of a super fan and more of like I wanted to see her process because this documentary was about the last year when she was publishing Deathly Hallows. I watched it from a writer perspective and I thought it was so interesting and she just seems like a regular writer. Um, she has the same insecurities that a lot of writers do and I think it's worth a watch if I think if I ever start feeling inadequate, imposter syndrome, things like that, because she had so many people coming out to her and she understood that like she wasn't going to please everybody and these are just things that authors and writers deal with all the time and even someone so mega famous like her still has these insecurities. So I thought it was great. Um, I was... When I wasn't watching it, I wanted to be watching it, so I thought that was great. And it kind of gave me a little bit of a boost, and it made me... Sometimes I feel a little bit alone when it comes to how I feel about my writing and stuff. So, if she's feeling it, man, it must be normal. So, that was a short aside. I will link that documentary below if you want to watch it after this video. It was... I think it was about an hour, so it wasn't crazy, but it was a lot of fun. So, for my thriller, I took the synopsis that I created, it was about 14 pages, and copied it into a new Google document, and I have just been inserting chapter headings like at certain parts of the synopsis, that's where I'm sort of starting at this point. So say chapter one from the perspective of our main character, and then I kind of put a break where I want the other point of view, and then start again, and then just a little chunk. So what I'm basically doing is I, I'm breaking down the synopsis into chapters, and then what I'm going to do after that is make bullet points, making sure I hit all of the right points in that chapter. So sort of taking the narrative of it and breaking it down into bullet points so that when I'm writing, I know exactly what's coming next, I know exactly what I want to say, so I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to dive into that second point of view. There is really nothing other than the first chapter from the second point of view that I have really outlined. I need to see where it falls in regard to the main point of view, so it's all a process. I'm just taking it a little bit of, at a time. I have not been at a point like this with my books for a very long time. This is just me exploring a story with no deadlines, which is great. I'm having a lot of fun in this process. And like, you know, if I only work on it for 10 minutes out of the day because I have a lot of stuff to do with my family or I'm just busy at work, that's okay. But I do love outlining. So I'm just, you know, taking it a day at a time, taking it easy. Thinking about the story throughout the day, it's really consumed all of my thoughts outside of life, so it's a good time. But I do have to head off to work, and I'll check in with you soon. Hey, so I'm back from work and all that fun stuff, and 
Today was a day. I went to work and then found out that the schools in my town were canceled for starting tomorrow because of the coronavirus. And they're closed until further notice, so I have no idea if that's a week, two weeks, a month, not sure. So stand by on that. So now I'm going to be probably a working from home mommy again. If you missed that working writing schedule video that I just put up, uh, I'll link it here in case you wanna watch it. I had gone through all of these schedules and um, I'm going back, I'm going back to where I was. But you know, I'm not as busy with ghostwriting and stuff like that, and I have a flexible enough job that I'm able to figure out a schedule for myself, but it's just crazy, it's so crazy. I went to the grocery store today and it was like 10 times worse than like a snowstorm. So I got a bit anxious. Um, I have a type of anxiety that tends to revolve around illness, and this illness is pretty scary, at least from what the media is saying. I'm trying to stay off social media. I'm trying to stay off Facebook especially because there are a lot of people on there that just like to throw articles out that don't make any sense and don't have any scientific background. So I have been watching a lot of YouTube. I tend to go on and follow actual doctors or people who are um, people who study infectious diseases and things like that. So if you didn't know I have a science background so I tend to get drawn more to that because if I follow the media I will literally have a panic attack and that's not an exaggeration. So yeah, that's been a super fun day. I threw on some pajama pants because I just feel very restrictive in my body right now and I am going to look at my outline for a little bit and maybe jumping into another world will help me calm down a bit um, because it's been a day, it's been a day. So for all of my projects, I have at least one song, usually with lyrics, that gets me in the mood to write and gets me in the mood of the story. And for this one, it's Mr. Sandman by S.Y.M.L. It's like a creepy version of Mr. Sandman. Um, and I, I don't remember what show, I want to say Riverdale, but I might be wrong. I heard it in a show and I was so like inspired by it. I think it's like the perfect tone that I would like to convey with this story and just it just sounds right to me and it always puts me in the mood to write. So what I've been doing with my synopsis, so when I originally wrote it, I wrote it from the young adult perspective. That's when I was writing a young adult book. Um, now that I'm writing an adult book, I am fixing a lot of things because, you know, there were instances of like where she couldn't drive yet um, because she never licensed and if she's older, she should have her license. So um, it's just little things that I'm tweaking and I'm able to sort of dig in a little deeper on the thrillery level. Um, it's gonna go above, I think with adult books, there's really no um, there's really no ceiling when it comes to how creepy you can make a book. Um, what are you barking at, huh? She's such a guard dog. So I've been fixing that and I was just at a point where we introduced a new character and I wanted to find a fun way to do that um, and introduce a little bit more backstory. So I've been sort of figuring out how to fit that in. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm feeling a little better. Um, it's just when I'm stuck in this rut, it tends to stick around for a little bit. So. I'm gonna get back to the work and hopefully I'll get through most of this. Let's see, I only have a couple more pages left. The ending really wasn't my favorite, but when it comes to my process, I actually tend to write up until like the last chapter or the one before, and then I usually go back and like read the whole book again, and then I'm able to tie tie in loose ends so that's what I think I'm going to do with my chapter by chapter outline I'm going to like get sort of to the end and then I think I want to start over from the top and make sure everything makes sense so then it's all wrapped up nice in the ending so I'll check in with you soon last week I talked to you about scheduling writing into your life 
Well, I definitely have an amendment to that video now that we are in the midst of a pandemic. So over the last week, a lot of things have been happening in terms of social distancing and a lot of people are working from home 